This is Janice Fu, reporting from Beijing for the Far Eastern Economic Review. I'm here with Yan Shui Tong, director of the Institute of International Studies at Tsinghua University. He argues that the international community should not feel threatened by China's recent military buildup. People talking about the change of the balance of power between China and the U.S., I don't think that China's uh, military modernization can change this uh, balance uh, or current status. And the gap between China and the U.S. in terms of military is huge and is far away for China to catch up with the U.S. military capability. There was an incident between the U.S. military ship Impeccable and Chinese vessels. Do you think the Chinese government is trying to actively project a harder, more hawkish image to the world? This uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, behavior actually shows China uh, gaining uh, more confidence in itself. And that also means that China believe and uh, he, this kind of policy won't offend others and will get more friends and get more support. The Chinese government has also had a number of smaller spats with Japan and with the Philippines. Is this something the Chinese government needs to be concerned about? China has not involved in any military conflicts in the last 25 years since 1984. And some people said that China did not involve in the uh, military conflicts uh, since 1979. Mm -hmm. So it's almost 30 years. And the China is the only country that didn't involve the military clashes in the last 30 years. Mm -hmm. And even Japan sent troops to uh, uh, Iraq. So th that's why a lot of people country make noise and complain about these conflicts be just because they know no matter what happened, China won't use the air military power to settle down the disputes with the neighbors. No matter what, it's only a defensive buildup. Yeah, both in long, uh, long run and in short term, the fundamental problem is China's lack of capability to protect its economic interests globally. And China's economic interests has globalized and has spread all over the world. Unfortunately, Chinese government do not have that capability, neither political capability or the uh, military capability protect the economic interests. And the China uh, continue uh, now align the principle. That means uh, we do not have that many allies to help us to protect our interests uh, in their area. And uh, so politically, we are not that strong. Militarily, we don't have the Americans uh, overseas uh, projection capability. And we cannot project, uh, project our troops uh, to the place to protect our national interests. Is this something that they're trying to change? Are they trying to project more political influence on the world? Soft power, if you will. At this moment, uh, I don't think the Chinese government will focus on improving its uh, political uh, relationship with the rest of the world and its military capability. I don't think the Chinese government will change its non-alignment uh, principle uh, in short term. What do you think the Chinese government wants to communicate to the international community? I think the Chinese government will try to let the world know that China is a friend country, but we are not uh, being allied to any of the countries. So I think uh, uh, our policy will make people have a controversial idea about China. Does China aim to be a quote-unquote responsible stakeholder? I think the Chinese government will uh, try to be a responsible for Chinese first, mm. and then second, responsible for its uh, friends. And I don't think Chinese government to try to be responsible for its enemy. <laughs> Especially when they undermine China's uh, interests, they cannot expect China to take responsibility for their interests. So is the U.S. a friend of China's? I think the relationship is, uh, uh, de depends on the uh, uh, mutual policy. And uh, that depends on uh, what's Obama's policy toward China. In terms of words, or the rhetorically, and Obama's policy toward China are much nicer than Bush. In terms of the uh, substance, there's not very much uh, change. And in terms of the uh, economy, I think uh, there's uh, more conflicts between China and the U.S. Uh, at this moment. I think the crisis make the world develop a concept about Chinese economic model. They, I don't mean that they think Chinese economic model is better than the U.S. model, but at least uh, this model is not that bad, and not, not as the, uh, bad as people uh, used to uh, think about. So now they think uh, possibly there are two models that have uh, its own uh, uh, perspective and have its own advantage. For more interviews like this one, please go to www.fear.com video.